Hey everyone, and welcome to the Lingmad. I'm doing another homeschool plan with me. Okay, so I pretty much filled most of it out, but I'll just show you what our week is going to look like. Okay, so we are on The Dark Secret, which is book four in the Wings of Fire series. Uh, it's all about Starfight as the main character. So we are reading chapters 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then we've got our chapter questions. So for this week, we have got three chapter questions for the first two chapters and two scroll activities. So we do our scrolls on a Thursday and Friday. Um, so these are our scroll activities for this week. So we've got to complete a character profile for Marcia. And we've got some more chapter questions. And then we've got a Venn diagram to compare Sunny to Fate Speaker. And then a fun activity. So Fate Speaker hasn't eaten for days and she arrives in the Rain Wing Village and Clay gives her a pile of food to eat. Imagine your fake speaker haven't eaten for days. Create a menu of all the things you'd want to eat and have a feast with your family. Design the menu on the computer or draw it. Make a budget for the money you can spend. Create your shopping list and go to the store to buy the items. So that's going to be really fun. I'm looking forward to that. So that's what we're going to be doing um, for our scroll activities on Thursday and Friday. We have got our writing design room magazine here. So we're doing photo editing and explore and use website for our videos. So as usual, I just write the... Uh, Dragon Academy Language Arts at the top. Okay, so for Learning Language Arts through Literature, we're on week 21. We're doing an extract from Robinson Crusoe. Got some spelling words here. Um, then we've got some suffix uh, activities. And then day two, we're talking about journal or diaries. And we're talking about first person writing, semicolons. Um, and then we've got some preposition activities here and a journal entry to do then there's sort of a section for review activities if we need to do that so that's learning language arts through literature um, so she'll also still do her spelling and her vocabulary and her uh, talent writing. So this is her spelling book. We are using 180 days of spelling word study. So she's on week 24 this week. Um, she's already done the first day because I'm filming this actually after we've already started the week uh, on Monday. But those are our words for this week. So it's the usual activity on a Monday and a Tuesday. It's in the mountains and we've got a um, Greek root page. We have got to turn the question around and then a an hour of each page. She'll still be doing my All the Words book, which you can get off Amazon. And as before, you write your vocabulary word, define it, use it in a sentence, draw it, put if it's the Greek or Latin root, another word you could use, make a poem or riddle if you want to, tell a joke with it if you'd like to. We use the Mrs. Wordsmith book to go with this. And then on Thursday and Friday, she'll do her scroll activities, which you just saw in her scrolls book. Okay, so moving on, we've got maths. Lesson 65 to 68, that's just the next lesson in the book, so I don't really have to do about much with that. For geography, not geography, even history, story of the world, we're on chapter 18. So for this one, we have um, some reference books to read, review questions, narration, activity. There are additional history reading books with literature as well, um, and map work, colouring pages, and there are several projects. Um, so what I do is I go back to my notebook that I used, uh, that I made over the summer, and I just check what activities I decided we were going to do um, for that particular lesson. And then I don't write them in the book because they're already in the notebook. And I'll just check we've got any materials that we need. And that'll be everything for Story of the World. And for Dragon Legends, which is our dragon history for, for uh, Dragon Academy, we have got some reading to do, which is page 44 to 47. And then on Wednesday, we've got to complete a dragon principle for one of the dragons of the world. And we use the DK Dragon World book and our Legends um, workbook from Dragon Academy. Okay, for geography, we're doing Living Things, the CGP book on Wednesday and Rivers on Thursday. For science, we're still doing biomes. Now we're up to chapter 10, which is oceans. We've almost finished this book though. So we've got some reading to do, vocabulary. There are some QR codes of different things to look at, uh, including a video of the Great Barrier Reef. Quite a long chapter, this one. 
Um, another one as well. Another QR code. And then there is just one activity this week. So that's what we have for our, our science. For art this week, we are doing page 110 to 113 and 114 to 117, which is, um, let's check, the basilisk and the wyvern. So that's what she has for her dragon art to do. And we use this one, dragon art, how to draw fantastical dragons and fantasy creatures. The beginning it's all about dragons scales eyes color everything and then towards the end it became more mythical creature like then for additional writing this week she has got her dog journal on monday um we're doing scrolls on a tuesday and a wednesday and then dragon journal will be on a thursday slightly different just because we've got plans for one of the days so we'll just move our scrolls slightly earlier and then her independent work she'll be doing her spelling um word study She'll do her vocabulary and her talent writing. Tuesday, she'll do IT, and we're still doing Python and typing.com. And then for the rest of the, day, the days, she'll be doing talent writing and vocabulary, apart from day five, which she'll just do her spelling and word study. So I feel like this is a slightly lighter week, just because it's our first week back. I don't always do a, a, a lighter week. Our first week back, it's just because we have moved house, which is huge. The moving house is life changing event for a reason. Um, so we are doing a slightly lighter week. N nothing really dramatically reduced apart from um, there's no big writing assignment naturally in our language arts. And usually when there's no big writing assignment in our language arts, sometimes I'll add something else in our writing section. But I haven't this week. I've just left our journal, our scrolls, and our dragon journal, um, so that there isn't. A large product straight away as we as we start back in after having two weeks off um but as i said i've not omitted anything it's just there isn't one in the particular curriculum this week but before we had our um two weeks off there was two writing projects back to back in here so it's good that there's a little lighter week this week i think in terms of the writing so we can take a deep breath and get back into it after having two weeks off and yeah that's all week this week if you've got any questions, leave them below. Still really loving my school nest planner. This has travelled well, as you can see. <laughs> um, it didn't get damaged at all in the move, which is good. I just kept it in a, a plastic bag. <laughs> I didn't even pack it in a box or anything. And it's, it's they're sturdy. They are really sturdy. I'm actually looking forward to decorating my new planner. Um, I haven't decided yet what I want to do with it. So that'll be coming up in a future video. Um, I did decide to use the minimalist one. Um for my planner this year uh, because I didn't quite need all the pages as I thought I would but that might have been because I had my schedule which I've mentioned before which has everything printed out if I had to write this out every week then that might have made me reconsider and get the full planner but I don't know we'll see if it turns out it's not enough space and obviously I can always get a bigger one again the following year one more thing I should mention is Kitchen Science Cookbook and Science Experiments You Can Eat. We're not doing those this week only because they're packed in a box um, and I can't get them out <laughs> this week. I didn't, for whatever reason, I don't know why I didn't put them over our essentials. So we'll just catch up on those two experiments. So it's FUM, foam, sickles, and the ripening hormone. So we'll just catch up on those two experiments next week when I'll have unpacked the books. I haven't unpacked them because we get new carpets and I can't put our bookshelves up until the carpets are done. So that'll be do that'll be happening this week. So they'll be out ready for next week. So we'll just have those two to catch up on. And then also Geology Lab for Kids has started. Again, that's packed. Um, so we'll catch up on that experiment the following week. So we'll have some fun experiments to catch up on, but that's fine. Um, it's nice to have them to look forward to because we love doing experiments. But this looks like a fun one. Make your own rock candy. So that's everything this week. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.